Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Gaming D, and this is me predicting week number seven for uh, the NFL season. Um, last week I did pretty bad in uh, my predictions, and uh, I'm not proud of it. So I got eight out of fifteen correct. Now let me repeat that: eight out of fifteen. Normally I'm like nine out of fourteen, but man, I'm doing bad. But uh, here are the games that I got wrong. Um, voted for Eagles, Redskins won. Voted for Steelers, Dolphins won. Voted for Rams, Lions won. Voted for Raiders, Chiefs won. Voted for Packers, uh, Cowboys won. Voted for Falcons, uh, Seahawks won. And voted for Colts, but the Texans won. So I'm not really... Uh, too thrilled about that hopefully I do way better this week but uh, yeah let's just get started with uh, this week's games and there's a game on that's right now I've been watching a little bit of it so I've been able to see a little bit of what's going on and as you're gonna be able to tell from this game um, like the gameplay I'm doing the game that's on right now while I'm recording this and the Packers are playing exactly like they're doing in this gameplay. They're doing so bad. Uh, so far they only got three points and uh, it's close to halftime and it's kind of disappointing. But their their defense is good. Uh, man, the, the, the freaking Jesus Christ, the Bears, their defense is pretty damn good. Um, Man, they're stopping the Packers right on the goal line, not even letting them get a touchdown, which is pretty cool. But uh, Brian Hoyer is doing a pretty good job with the people he's got. And uh, I think he's going to be the replacement of uh, Jay Cutler. <laughs> kind of like, uh, what's his name, is going to be a replacement for Tony Romo. So, uh, this is the game I'm going to, the Packers and the Bears, I'm picking uh, the Bears on that one. Now, Giants and Rams. Uh, the Giants and Rams, I think they both lost last week. Oh, wait, no, the Giants won against the Ravens. The Rams lost. Um, that was pretty surprising, but I feel like the Rams are going to win uh, this week. I feel like they're going to keep that momentum going and... Uh, yeah, the next game, the Saints and the Chiefs. Um, the Saints, uh, let me see. Saints beat the Panthers uh, only by three, so not much. Um, but, man, I don't know. The Chiefs destroyed the Raiders. You know, I'm going to go Saints. I'm going to go Saints on this one. Drew Brees, do not let me down. Uh, now Vikings and Eagles Man, these are two amazing teams this year, but I'm gonna have to go Vikings Vikings are still undefeated. They're the only undefeated team right now um, Eagles uh, last week didn't do good at all uh, Who they play last week? Uh, let's see they played the Redskins and they lost by a touchdown man yeah, I mean, I'm Vikings on that one. Uh, next one, the Colts and the Titans. Uh, let's see, Colts and Titans. Colts lost only by three against the Texans, and the Titans beat the Browns by two. So I think this is going to be, ah, you know what, I'm going to say Colts, because the Texans beat the Browns with a terrible offense right now the Browns are they're in their quarterback position isn't the greatest so um, I'm gonna have to say uh, the Colts are going to win this game against the Titans now Bills and Dolphins I'm gonna have to say Bills because how good they've been doing uh, since I think week three 
Let's see, week three. No. Is it, uh, where when the hell was it? Week four. Since week four, they've been doing good. So the past, like, three weeks, uh, they've been destroying. So I'm going to have to say Bills on that. Now Redskins and Lions. I'm going to have to say Reds, or not Redskins, Jesus Christ. I'm going to say Lions because the, uh, the Lions are, seem like a pretty decent team this year. Um, let me check their record so far for this year. Uh, so they're third in the NFC North, uh, and they, they, if the Packers lose tonight, they'll have the same record as the Packers, which is kind of sad, but, <laughs> the, yeah, the, uh, I have to say, like, hold on, let me, yeah, I'll have to say, I'll have to say Lions on that, yeah, Lions. Now, the Bengals and the Browns, um, I don't know, the Bengals are, kind of salty after last week, but I feel like they can, you know, get the job done. Um, so yeah, Bengals on that one. Now Raiders and the Jags. The Raiders lost. Uh, pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad uh, last week, but uh, the Jags won by one point. But... Man, I'm still gonna have to say Raiders. Definitely Raiders. Now Ravens and the Jets. Um, let's see. Ravens, Ravens. Ravens did pretty good, and the Jets did terrible. So I'd have to say Ravens on that game. Now Chargers and the Falcons. Um, did the Chargers play last week? Uh, they did not. But the Falcons did, and they lost to the Seahawks. Um, oh, let me check the previous week. The Char I'm going to have to say Chargers. Because the Seahawks aren't that good this year. But the Falcons had lost to them last week. And uh, if the Chargers beat, or lost to the Raiders last week. Or two weeks ago, but not by much. By three points. So, uh, Chargers on that game. Now, uh, let's see. The Bucks versus the 49ers. The 49ers are terrible, so are the Bucks. The Buccaneers. 49, let's see what the 49ers. Uh, they're 1 in 5 with the Panthers. And the Bears. <laughs> Uh, let's see if there's any other teams as bad. Uh, the Browns are 0 and 6. The Jets are 1 and 5. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm still gonna say the Bucks. And the Buccaneers. And now Patriots and Steelers. The Steelers lost Big Ben. So I don't know how good they're gonna be. Um, they're pretty decent I guess uh, let's see last week I uh, know nah, never mind I, 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 I take that back I take that back Pasco like last game did terrible um, a couple weeks ago they did pretty good but Patriots are gonna win because Tom Brady's back Gronk's back uh, we have a bunch of people I think from the defense that, that were on injury reserve that are coming back so uh, say Patriots and the last game on Sunday is the Seahawks and the Cardinals. <sighs> Two teams that aren't doing the greatest this year, but I'm going to have to go with the Cardinals. Um, they did better last week. They had a good comeback from d having some terrible games. So I'm going to have to say Cardinals. Now the Monday game. The Broncos and... The Texans. <sighs> hmm. So Broncos lost to the Chargers last week. Yeah. But the Texans, did they play last week? Oh yeah, they beat the Colts. The Broncos haven't been doing the best. Let's just say that since... I think it was what week three. 
Um, they were one of the undefeated teams, week three. Let's go check out week four. Um, week four, they destroyed. Week five. Let's see, week five. Week five, they got destroyed. And since week five, the Broncos have been doing terrible. And I mean <laughs> terrible. I think they just got too cocky, but you never know. You know, you never, you're never really gonna know. So uh, I'm gonna say Texans on this one, even though the Patriots did destroy them. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I'm looking at the game right now, and Brian Hoyer might have broken his arm. So their backup's coming in. So yeah. But uh, right now, in real life, the game is reversed than the uh, gameplay. The gameplay, the uh, Bears are winning 3 nothing, But in real life, the Packers are winning 3 nothing. Freaking weird, man. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please uh, you know, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you have not. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.